Are we recording? I can't see the camera. <laughs> There's too much sun. Hello, folks. <laughs> it's a nice day. Um, I'm really sorry for the people who got really bad weather this last week. Um, a couple tornadoes really ripped up the middle of the country, but uh, I'm glad I live where I do. We are working just uh, putzing around on the trailer, fixing a few things. Um, we had, uh, for the last year and a half, the door has not wanted to close without being kicked. And when you do that, the, this, the upper door comes unhitched. So um, we had to figure out what was wrong with that. Finally, we figured out that yeah, you got to come a lot closer. We finally figured out that the threshold at the bottom of the door had swelled from some water intrusion to the wood. And this is just crummy particle board or uh, press wood. But I had to take the threshold off. If you, if you have one of these on your trailer that normally it says, carefully your step here, but mine's been worn off because the door has been rubbing on it. And um, so I, I had to take that off with some destruction. And um, it's on with two little rivets on either end or one rivet on either end and um, so we had to pry that off to get to the wood and just this one side is soft it's not it's not rotted through or anything but it's pretty soft um, we're gonna cut back the uh, linoleum and uh, put in a new threshold on it um, and put some wood hardener on that and protector and try to keep it from getting crazy so I cut this away a little bit. Now we'll get all the dirt and grime and everything out of there. And this isn't going to solve all the problems because this goes way back under here. And there's some significant material missing right in here. But we bought this stuff and it's supposed to work for rotten wood, wood hardener. We're going to see how it works. Had to come home from work to uh, do this because it has to be done above 50 degrees. So it's supposed to go up to 70 today. Put this on here and hope it soaks in and hardens it up. It looks like it looks like it sinks right into the wood, which is great. Will soak it pretty good. Seems to be soaking in more than dripping through. A little on the front there. All right, I think that's pretty well soaked. We'll let that sit and see what it does. Firms it up quite a bit, but it's still, still a lot of uh, hole in it. So we're gonna, I bought some JB Weld two-part epoxy and we're going to put that down in there and, and uh, hope it hardens within a couple hours. It, I had a local metal shop make me this. It's bent to go over the edge and it's the perfect size to slide in here and cover that and get the door out of the way and get that in there. And I got to sand this down a little bit because this is raised up. So I'm going to sand it down a little bit. But then it'll go underneath the vinyl, and uh, I'm going to cut the vinyl back. So this is the final product, the final effect. Got a nice new thing. We got some wax paper. We got to scrape off of here and get some of the leftover glue out. We will be putting down some tread strips here so it's not slippery if it gets wet or something, but... Um, it's completely wrapped around all the way up and under. So, and uh, underneath here, it's all it's all epoxy. 
it's a hardened wood and epoxy so it's not soft or anything anymore and uh, just have to do a little trim along the corners put down some uh, caulking on the corners and it's uh, should be ready to go and of course the door works just fine no rubbing no coming apart everything works great we also, uh, quite a while back, Slim Potato Head, um, here, look, look, look up here for a minute. There's supposed to be little blocks here that keep the upper roof away from the lower roof when it comes, up, when they close up. Um, Slim Potato Head, uh, a couple years ago, said uh, he was going to replace his with some little ball bearings. And that really was a good idea. That has worked out really well. If you can see these, little round white dots you replace those with these little roller bearings which are pretty nice um, and they're on my roof there's another one and this is Teflon tape I tried to fix it with because I also have holes in my thing from uh, putting in uh, accessories and water and uh, solar panels and stuff but you just drill a hole and those just go stick in the hole and mine have been on there for about five years and they're just getting worn out and crushed and, and bent up so I'm replacing those and I'll show you what I do these are uh, these are the little roller bearings they're pretty nice um, this little ball rolls in there it actually is loose and moves but what I do is I take a, a long socket that just fits over the top of that ball like that. And then I use that to kind of pound it into the, pound it into the uh, sidewall with a tapping with a hammer. Um, and you know, they're, they're even tapered at the very bottom. You can see there's tapering at the very bottom. So they go in a hole that's real tight, pretty easy and it, and it, definitely scrapes apart a little bit of the side and stuff but um, they stay there and uh, like I said mine have been there five years so that's a pretty nice way to fix the rubbing on the side of the uh, a-liner we spent a good load of yesterday working on the underside of the a-liner um, checking all the nuts and, and bearings and lines and electricity and all that looking for soft spots since I got the soft spot by the door I wanted to check the rest of the floor it all looks pretty good for a 13 year old trailer um, that's had heavy, heavy usage in the worst weather, winter, summer, fall, spring. And um, bring, oh, his, his log, his log is getting smaller. <laughs> There goes a good portion of my grass as he slides through it. I don't know why he has to slide through it. I would think he could just like tiptoe. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we did some work on the bottom and we did some other special work on the bottom. I'll show you later. Um, I, I gotta wait till the sun goes down, unfortunately, because uh, that's the, uh, so stay to the end of the video and you'll see something kind of fun. And, uh, and maybe even Aquila. We've got these cargo bars. These are cargo bars from uh, Tractor Supply, and they just, they just, they're friction held inside. I put plastic bags on them because the, uh, the thing uh, marks the, leaves a stain on the wood or on the sidewall. So I put plastic bags over them. And um, I've used them so long that they've gotten so that um, this middle part doesn't, hold it anymore it, it 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 slides together over time and um then it falls down on me if i hang anything on it so we're gonna just drill a hole through it and put a bolt in there to hold it because that's that's the other side is right there so that'll keep it from sliding they're measured the right length and everything so that'll be good for them and while it was raining we did uh drill a hole in these cargo bars and uh, we did put a 
1024 screw through them and uh, secured it with two, two, water, two nuts, a small regular one that came with the screws and a nylon wall not that uh, keep it from coming apart but um, I no longer need to worry about these stupid things I don't need them to be tight or not because that's not going anywhere with that screw all the way through like that so that's made them nice we also got a new carbon monoxide and smoke detector coming um, we, the old one died um, I bought one that had a 10-year warranty and it was all and it only lasted five years and I called up the company which was not kitty or first alert it was another company can't remember the name uh, they said they would be glad to replace it um, and uh, just send it to them with a check for $12 to cover shipping and handling <laughs> well it was gonna cost $7 to ship it to them and then $12 on top of that that's $22 I might as well just buy a new one from another company for 35 so I was not pleased with that 10 year last forever type thing and it's pretty obnoxious when the trailer in my backyard smoke alarm goes off in the middle of the night everybody in the neighborhood hears it and they think it's me burning down in my house so another thing I, I did to the A-liner today when I'm driving around in the places I go with the rocky roads and the, the potholes and the, the bumps and everything, this bench right here is usually on the floor. All the cushions are all over the place like that. And um, whatever was on the bench is usually down in the, the storage compartment, which isn't the nicest, cleanest storage department. So. What I did to try to eliminate that, and I'm pretty sure this will work. Is I screwed some wings onto the board. So on the sides, so now it's a, a large cap. Let me zoom out a little. So I just put some edges on the bottom so it can uh, it, it'll it can bounce but it's gonna stay in the um, in its little track because before it was only a eighth of an inch edge around the top and any bouncing and it just bounces out so I'm doing that to make that stop being all over the place when I get to where I'm going Statesville is the home of the North Carolina Balloon Festival. So we see balloons frequently, just not usually when I have the camera out here. Oh, I guess that's not a balloon. Never mind. Well, folks, I told you I did something extra to the A-liner that you couldn't see in until it got dark out. Can't really see it yet. Let me turn the light out. So we got lights on the trailer. You know, I've had... Uh, my boys, the prior boys, come out camping with me and a skunk was underneath the trailer. And um, so this is my answer to that. I can now have nice easy lights under the trailer while uh, <laughs> when we go out to go potty at night. Rock lights. Cost about $20. Just wire them up. They take hardly any electricity. Thanks for watching. Check out my playlist. Nobody goes to my playlist, I find out. I have a whole playlist of A-liner stuff, boondocking sites, campgrounds, reviews.
different states, different places. Thanks for coming. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye. you gotta do is mount it and it activates huh sounds good to me Guess it works. <laughs> Warning. Evacuate. Carbon monoxide. Evacuate. Highest carbon monoxide level was zero ppm. Can't stand mouthy alarms. Well, there it is. New smoke alarm. Carbon monoxide detector.